Hi everyone. We are going to be learning about the zero principle today. And that's going to help us when we're adding integers. To complete this, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. So if you don't have one yet, pause this and go grab one. Okay, in front of you, you see a number line. So the important things to notice is that the numbers to the right of the zero are positive and to the left of the zero are negative. We're going to talk about a specific type of integers, which, a specific type which is called opposite integers. And they are opposite because they are opposite and equal distance from zero. So for example, when you look at this number line, you can see that the two would be one, two steps away from the zero and the negative two would also be one, two steps away from the zero. So those two are opposite integers, negative two and positive two. Now you can also look at the four and say, well, I see that negative four would be two, four steps away from the zero. And the four, positive four to the zero, is also going to be four steps. So those are opposite integers. Okay, on your page, I want you to take a minute and to write down the definition for opposite integers. Okay, and below that, leave space to write down zero principle. So pause the video if you need to and write down what opposite integers are. I'm going to share my answer, which might be a little bit different than yours, but as long as we have the same key information, I said that opposite integers are two integers that are something from zero on the number line. Any idea what I wrote? I said that they are, let me see, that they are the same distance from zero on a number line. So if your answer is a little bit different than that, that's fine, but that's how I like to remember it. Now the next thing we're looking at is the zero principle. And that's actually looking at those integers and that if you were to add negative four and positive four, you would actually end up with zero. So the sum, the zero principle actually means that the sum of two opposite integers is zero. We're going to do a couple examples of that. This is something I want you to have in your notes, so make sure you've copied this down, or if you would like to think of it in a different way, that's fine too. So on your page, I just want you to draw a number line and choose two sets of opposite integers to show me. And I'm going to do two on the next page. You can follow along and do some different ones. So for my number line, I'm just going to choose I'm going to choose negative 8 and I'm going to choose positive 8. And I think I'm going to choose negative 3, which is going to be right in the middle there, and positive 3. So those are both 3 away, so I'm going to choose negative 3 and positive 3. Okay, so show me that on your page, please. So what? How can the zero principle help me? I actually love the zero principle for really fast ad addition problems because that's how it's going to help us. So if, for example, we were looking at a question like this, negative 3 plus positive 7, let's say, I can look at that really quickly. And if I was to imagine the opposite of one of these, so if I was to imagine the opposite being positive 3, and I know that those two together are going to equal zero, that's going to leave me with positive four. So that's a really quick, easy way to use that. And I'm actually going to draw a picture of this too. And I like drawing it, I think that helps me a lot. And it might help you, if not, you can figure out your own way too. So let's say that we have negative seven plus positive 3. And I think I'm going to use negative and positive signs right now, even though in your textbook we use different colored markers. But I'm going to say for right now that we have negatives. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
And for positives, we have one, two, three. And we can use the zero sum really quickly to cancel out those opposite integers and just say right away, I can see that this is gonna cancel that out, which is gonna leave me with negative seven. All right, on your own, I just want you to draw and solve these two. So pause this if you need to and go ahead and do that. And then that's it, great job. Come and check your work with me and then you can move on to your integers project. Thanks for watching.